How's it going, Ant Eaters? Paxton right here and Keely. Yep. How We're you coming doing? to you live from Zoom Academy. I'm doing okay. How are you? It's uh you know, you know it's okay. It's uh I have to be honest, it's it's tough being cooped up at home. Uh you know, as you can tell, uh you know, it, it's it's easy to feel to feel cooped up in a place like this and uh I yeah, bet. you start to go a little stir crazy. I mean I've had to send all my personal chefs home. Uh, I've had, I, I've played more games of tennis on my private tennis court than I care to ever play again. It's driving me a little mad, I have to be honest. Honestly, I know how you mean. Like, it's just, it's been rough. I've been with my dogs and then me and my five personalities, we just keep going crazy in this like one room. Like they <laughs> need to get out, they need to socialize and we're all sick of each other. It's yeah. Oh, I don't. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. No, it's. Uh, uh, I. I fortunately, uh, this place is large enough so that I only ever see my live-in butlers, you know, once a day, if that. So it's you know we we do a pretty good job of like getting just enough of each other before we start mm -hmm. to go a little crazy. What were we it's talking so about again? Oh I right, hygiene. Hygiene. Yeah. Yeah. That's a strange word. It really is. Uh, what does what does hygiene mean to you, Keely? What does it mean to me? Um, it means showering, bubble baths. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it means it means uh, it means Tide laundry detergent. Uh, shall we get into the the meat of our show? I think we should. We should. So we here at ATV News wanted to uh, just basically assure all 18 of you who are watching this uh, that we Hi, are- Mom. Yeah, hey mom, how's it going? Uh, we're not dead. Uh, the Rona has not gotten any of us yet, uh, but yet. As, as it stands right now, we're all doing okay. And we're all cooped up, we're all being safe, we're all hoping you're doing the same as well. And we here at ATV News wanted to put out a little, uh, a little, a little, variety show of yeah. sorts. Uh, basically around the theme of hygiene. And we'll probably do more of these, assuming it's a success. Uh, you know, if response is good, we'll probably do a couple more of these videos throughout the quarter, centering around different topics each yeah. week. And we'll make a little shebang of it. Yeah, I mean, Paxton said it. We just want you guys to know that we're still alive. We hope you guys are doing good. Oh, so we do have a bet running on which of us is going to fall to Corona first. So feel free to comment below if you think Sean, maybe it's going to be Paxton. Sean, Sean. Money's on Sean. Good money's yeah. on Sean. But I mean, you never know. It's like the Powerball. Someone could win the Rona first. Like the worst Powerball ever. <laughs> I mean, you know, no judgment. We're, we're all a little bored here. Let's bet on life. Exa you know, yeah, this is like, wow, this is like Hunger Games level dystopian that we're getting into. We're getting into it oh, fast. Yeah, yeah. pretty cool fun. stuff. Well, on that note, enjoy everybody. Oh, it smells like bleach. Hey all you cool cats and kittens, today I'll be showing you how to make a face mask. Why would we ever want to learn how to make a face mask? I don't know! I think it's a conspiracy! Anyway, before I suffocate myself, let's move on! Throw that in the trash can. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own mask! What you're gonna need is two types of fabric. One, any kind you want, I think, and I'm not a professional. And the other one is flannel. Now, I don't have flannel, so I cut up my sister's dress without her knowing it, and I have this. I think it's, it's very breathable. I think it's really gonna work today. The other fabric you're gonna need is anything that you want on the outside that looks decorative. The other one had cats on it, cause you know, my mom loves Tiger King. She's weird. So I thought, hey, let's bring up the holiday cheer. I think that it's really gonna be a statement. It's like Christmas in July. People are going to love this. So, you put this on the outside, this on the inside, you're 100% not gonna get COVID, I guarantee. So the next thing you're gonna need is, oh shit, the elastic. Now, usually you want thin elastic. I only have this thick elastic. T-H-I-C-C, -C, thick. Girl, you're thicker than a bowl of oatmeal. Let's make this and get you COVID free. <laughs> ah! 
ah, the light's on. Okay, nobody's home though. So now that that's on, you're gonna want to get your fabric. Hold on, we don't need this in the way. Oh my gosh. I swear I'm gonna quit this program any day now. So what you're gonna wanna do next is get your cloth. See, this is huge. It's way too big. I almost threw up, this smells disgusting. It smells like prom and tears of regret. So you're gonna wanna take this and cut it into, what part of the dress is this that I cut? I think it's fine. So you're gonna wanna get this into a manageable thing for your face. Who needs scissors? What you wanna do is you wanna take both the designs and put them inward. Why? I don't know, someone told me to do it and so that's what I do now. Measure it around your ear, perfect. So like that length, great, awesome. Now just cut that. Okay, now just you assume you do it again. Great, awesome, perfect, 10 out of 10. You're an artist. You're gonna be as great as me one day. Sew it on this corner. Bam, a loophole. Do you see where I'm going with this? Make sure this is attached though, otherwise you're gonna die. What am I doing? So you take this, you shove it in. Where? I honestly don't care that's your problem. <laughs> it is. Back to back, I sewed the, ha the, like, the ear handles the wrong way. So they're literally inside instead of outside, but it's fine. I'm not getting paid enough to fix it. So I hope you guys like an outside pattern because that's what we're gonna work with. Ow, my glasses. So just put, are you supposed to be able to breathe through this? Ow. It may look a little rough, but that's completely fine. Honestly, if you put it over your no down below your nose, it's much more comfortable. Is it as protective? That's for you to decide. And yeah, that has been, um, what has this been? I don't even know what this has been. I'm literally blind right now. This has been Andrew Beard with Eater TV News. Stay safe, everyone. Bam. That was so lame. Hello everyone, and welcome to my lair, or so it feels like it. So, the topic of the week is cleanliness, and I want to touch upon the word, and I actually want to throw some shade to the word, because cleanliness is just a fancy way of saying clean. And I don't know what the origin of leanness is from cleanliness, but before I finish this sentence, I just want to stop myself there before I end with a bad joke which happens to be one of my specialties that I've noted on my resume bad joke teller anyways one thing that I do want to say is while you're singing your favorite song for 20 seconds while washing your hands don't sing too loudly because you know we don't want to Hear your voice that loud and don't keep the water running for 20 seconds because at that point yeah you're keeping your hands clean but you're also wasting water hi guys <laughs> hi guys i'm natalia viles and welcome to healing time with nati Sometimes you just get so stressed from everything going on in the world. But you have to remember, you have to release. And you have to give yourself some time for yourself. So the first step is to light a candle. Put it down, yes. And then you put on some rain sounds, you put on some tropical forest. As you can see, I have a lot of makeup on from the day, from, you know, just the grocery store, all those bacterias. So, this is the makeup remover that I use. It's SK11. It's a little bit, you can see the logo, like the right there, yes. Now, for part two. Now, we're going to cleanse it even more. It is Facial Cleanser by First Aid Beauty. This is your to-go-to wherever you need it. So, we're gonna put a little bit on our faces. 
just on the tips of our teeny weeny fingers. Oh, doesn't that face feel so refreshed? I feel amazing. Now we do the fun part, the relaxation. So I have these amazing Korean face masks that I swear by, makes me look like a six year old. So we have charcoal, the other one, cucumber, and I'm feeling a little bit of collagen today. So after a long day of quarantine, of doing nothing, you were just exhausted. It takes care of you. That's right, yourself. So I'm just gonna do this for about 10 minutes, meditation. You are beautiful, you are wanted, and you are incredible in this world. Do not forget that, okay? All right. And don't forget the seashells to be more in tune with your soul. Hear the ocean. Hear the ocean. I hear it. What is it saying? Come back to the tune. I'm on my way. Now that your face is just feeling great, we're going to give it an extra little glow. There it is. CBD. This one is great. Now you're going to rub it all in. Look how glowing it is. I just feeling great. You got all those steps in. Might be a lot, but it's so worth it. Then just to go to sleep, put on a little silk pajama, and then you spritz yourself with a little perfume. Ah, that is all for now. Join me next week for more self-care tips and healing time with Natalia Viles. Lots of love. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hello everyone. I hope you are all staying safe. Oh goodness. You gotta keep your mask on. Got my blue light glasses. I hope everyone has a pair of both. Amazon has a great supply. Masks don't do very good. I wanted to come out and give you a public safety announcement on one of the ways I found that I have been, I'm just, you know, it's fine, conducting germs. Now, I know some of you have pets like myself, and I don't know if you've ever been out walking your pet. It's a great way to get exercise, especially right now. And then you've had someone come up, and your dog is just so cute that they try and pet your dog, which is great. Dogs love pets. But have you ever thought about how many germs are on that person's hand, which are now on your dog? And of course, you're going to pet your dog, too, because, I mean, it, it's a dog. We're all going to pet it. And so then you pet your dog and all of a sudden that person's germs that got on your dog are now on you, which is why I would like to share an amazing product that I recently found. Now I know these may look like regular brand Purell wipes, but they're actually a special brand of Purell wipes that are made specifically for your dog. I'll show you how it works. So here I have our test subject for the wipes. This is Zoe. And she's very cute, so a lot of people tend to pet her, like today, on her walk. And as you can see, she is just covered in germs, just head to toe. So we gotta fix that. So when your dog is covered in germs, you just take one of these wipes, and you just come over, and you just, you just start wiping her. You just get all those germs off. Just, see? So clean. Hello, I'm Brandy O'Connor, and um, I realized that clean and hygiene rhyme, and that really stuck out to me personally so i thought okay those two are related there have to be other words that are related that also rhyme so i saw on a quest to figure that out and i realized it's not true i tried it um for example ted bundy and hot um phone and case water and bottle sunflower and plant seed. You can try a few combinations, variations, and it won't work. Clean and hygiene are the only ones that work together and they're the only ones that rhyme. Excuse me one moment. Tana. Yeah, so I just like realized that you'll never, you'll never find a duo like clean and hygiene and you just won't be found like people are like oh name a duo better than kim and chloe you know they wouldn't be together um chloe and courtney and they're like i'll wait and i'm like 
You shouldn't have even started. You won't be waiting long. <laughs> Hello folks, welcome to Wipes and Dines. Our products today include a variety of things, such as these two Perel bottles, each going for $50. Stock up now before you miss out on that offer. Our next thing is a Lysol wipe. 30 bucks per wipe. So let's say there's about three times 80 wipes in here. I use some of them because I, I need to, a, a man's gotta live, you know? So do the math. Next product is back tissue. Each roll goes for about $10. You gotta get it right now before that deal runs out because after today, it will go up to 20. I only got this one as well too. And our last but not least product are napkins. Napkins that each will go for, I don't know, you name the price, you name the price, $3, $4, $20 per napkin, $20 per napkin. And that is only gonna be going up. So order in the next five minutes and you definitely got yourself a deal. Did I, did I break the camera? Hi folks, Pagan's right here. You may know my brother Paxton from his work on Anteater TV News, uh, as well as his many, many, many appearances on Dateline NBC. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You know, in times like these, as we're quarantining, it's very easy to feel, uh, you know, cooped up and, and really desperate to get out there. Well, one great way to get out there is by going to the grocery store. We still all got to do it. We still need to get food. Uh, but it can be a hairy situation now. Going to the grocery store isn't a simple errand anymore. So I'm here today to teach you guys the best precautionary steps you can take and how to make the most out of your trip to Albertsons or Vons or whatever it may be safely and effectively. First and foremost, it's important to wash your hands before you go and after you go. So we're going to start with a quick trip to the bathroom. Come on. One, two, three, one, two, two, three, one, three, two, three, one. And this step is, is just, it's so important. So first of, you know, before we get to the hand washing, my bathroom is, it's filthy. I mean, I mean, look, look at that. That's, that's, no, I, we'll be right back with you in a second. Hang on. Ah, there, a sink so clean you could eat out of it. Now for hand washing. All right. With hand washing, it's important to get the right amount of soap. Not too much, not too little. You don't want to go in excess, but you want an effective uh, glob. So let's take care of that right now. One, two. That's all you need. That's all you need, folks, right there, about the size of a quarter. Now, get to scrubbing. You want to scrub for eh, 20 seconds is what the experts would tell you, but I'm here to tell you right now that no matter how much you scrub, you'll never be clean. Only ever kills 99.99% of germs. And that 99.99%, you know, that's great, but that 0.01%, you never know what they're capable of. So, so, so you just gotta keep scrubbing. Just keep scrubbing as long as you can. Just keep scrubbing every last inch. So once that's taken care of, we're gonna move on to the lathering, which we will do uh, with our hands submerged in water from the sink. <laughs> Not where, I mean, where else would it come from? Not the toilet. That would be disgusting. And so you're gonna turn on your faucet and then you're just gonna get to scrubbing. Just get to scrubbing. They say to go as warm of water as you possibly can, but remember, it's always futile. Uh, my therapist used to tell me that my uh, obsessive compulsive disorder was uh, debilitating and going to uh, destroy any chance at achieving normality in my life unless I did something to counteract it. But look at me, I'm fine. I'm going to the grocery store. I'm making the best of life during a quarantine. Who's laughing now, Jake? All right, and so now we have a towel. We're just gonna towel that off, you know, get in there, get in every little crease, make sure you have no uh, liquid buildup anywhere. So you're just gonna keep scrubbing and you only wanna do this for maybe mm, 15, 20 minutes max, and then you'll be good to go. All right, now that that's taken care of, let's get our shoes on and head to the store. All right, man. <sighs> you guys, I... <laughs> I broke the golden rule. I opened the bathroom door after washing my hands, rendering everything we've done up until this point completely useless. So I'm stupid, stupid, stupid. It's fine. It's fine. We'll just take care of this right now. We'll just wash our hands again real quick. Shouldn't take more than another mm, 15, 20 minutes. All right. Now that that's all said and done, let's get our shoes on and get ready to head to the... 
Huh. Guess that means the grocery stores are long closed by now. Hmm. Makes this the sixth day in a row that this has happened, and I am running dangerously low on groceries. Oh well, we'll just have to try again tomorrow. But until then, remember, mental health professionals are always lying to you. Uh, stay safe and stay healthy. Well, that was whatever that was. We hope you guys enjoyed Strange. it, though. It was. Yeah, it was, it was. It was very odd. You'd think that we would watch these. No, no. I mean, they just sort of get they get they get they get slapped together, but uh, they get slapped together with love uh, and a large That's budget, a, a very very macro sized budget. You'd actually be surprised. This costs more than Avatar to make, uh, mm-hmm. and we couldn't have done it without our sponsor, Wiping Willie. <laughs> he made, it, he just... made it all possible, didn't he, Keely? Don't oh. laugh. Don't laugh. This is where our money comes from. We want to make more of these. We need Wiping Willie's money on our side. I know. It's just such an unfortunate name. Wiping Willie. I mean, use friends call him wipe for short. Bye, everybody. Bye.